Hello everyone, my name is Georgia Lowen. I'm in my second year of a master's in HCI and I'm here to talk to you today about my research on video game accessibility for players with upper limb motor disabilities. Video games are such an interesting phenomenon in our society. From humble beginnings in the 1970s, the video game industry has grown to become a multi-billion dollar industry and ingrained in our society and in our homes. The Entertainment Software Association estimates that in Canada alone, 53% of the population plays video games. But with such worldwide success, we must face the unfortunate reality that video games have not been inclusive. There's been some efforts to increase the inclusivity of some areas, such as the push for a stronger presence of women in the video game industry, and the increase of diversity of playable characters in popular video games. However, the video game industry still has a long ways to go, especially so in considering accessibility needs. An estimated 92% of individuals with disabilities play video games according to a Netherlands study on gaming accessibility. That is a significant demographic that has been historically ignored. Since 2018, there's been slow growing interest in increasing accessibility in some areas, um, with the most notable stride being the release of the Xbox Adaptive pictured on the screen. <laughs> However, this device has its drawbacks. When used with the Logitech Accessible Gaming Kit, the setup is clunky, bulky, and cumbersome. Additionally, this is just one controller variant that only scratches the surface of fulfilling the full spectrum of needs of disabled gamers. In addition to needing more accessible interaction, video games are also in need of new and innovative interaction. This has been the subject of extensive study on how wearable technology can offer those new, innovative avenues of interaction for video games. But what if wearable technology could also be leveraged to create more accessible interaction? This is my area of research, and through my research, I have conducted in-depth interviews with participants with physical disabilities that affect their upper limbs to understand their experience using wearable technology and their needs for video game interaction. From this research, I have developed design guidelines for designing accessible gaming wearables. These include designing for interactivity, designing for independent use, designing for customizability and flexibility in use, and design for modularity. Continuing my research, I aim to utilize these design guidelines to create physical working prototypes of accessible wearables devices for video games to test with study participants. In summation, my research utilizes methods of speculative design, physical prototyping, usability testing, and qualitative thematic analysis to push the boundaries of accessible interaction for video games with wearable technology and overall increase the inclusion of individuals with physical disabilities in the conversation around accessible gaming interaction. Thank you so much for listening today.